Welcome back guys, it's TSL here back with a new video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a Game Pass shop so that everybody in your game can buy the Game Pass and not have to go out of the game to the game page and buy the Game Pass. So, uh, this video is going to be a really short one. Um, also guys, Merry Christmas if you celebrate and you're watching this on the day it came out. Then... Hope you guys have a good Christmas and let's get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is you're going to need to have an actual GUI for this. And I already took the time to make a GUI for this, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I just have it, a uh, screen GUI named Game Pass Shop and a few frames in there. So let me open up this frame and show you what I have. So well, once it's visible, I also have to set the position down because of the animations. All right, so here it is. Now this is actually going to be the dev products which we're going to make in the next video. So none of this here works yet. So let me go ahead and um, disable this frame and show you the other frame. All right, so this is the only one I have in here so far. And basically all you need to do to make a working shop, um, working game pass shop is inside of your button you're going to have to have a local script and the first thing you just need your game passes id then you need to connect with the marketplace service and prompt the game pass purchase to the local player and pass in the game pass id so it knows which game pass to prompt the purchase on and that's really all there is to it guys like actually this is it this is literally all you need now for design purposes, I have a UI grid layout in my frame so that when I place all my other buttons that we're going to be placing later in the video, it's going to come in a grid layout. Alright, so let me go ahead and make this visible to false. This one visible to true. This frame visible false. And the position negative 0.5. And let me show you this right now. So if I go ahead and click play, then if I go and click on my uh, shop button, then down comes the shop. We have some hover animations. As you see, none of these work when I click. But if I go over to the passes frame, we have this one game pass that we can buy here. And if I click this one, you see we get prompted to purchase, but it says that we already own this item because we are the owner of the game. Alright, so as you see that will work, um, now let me just show you guys how you get the Game Pass IDs. So you go to your game page, you go to the store part, and uh, don't mind these icons, they are horrible. But you're going to click on one of these, and then you're going to go up in the URL bar and see these numbers. I'm just going to copy that. And as the local script said in the Passes Frames button, Replace this ID variable with your ID. All right, so now all we have to do is literally just duplicate this button and see what our next game pass is. Two times all stats. So change the name. In the local script, all you have to do, come here, copy this ID, and paste it here and that's it um you can yeah that that's literally all you need you can also change the text so we can say two times all stats and then once again we can duplicate our button the next thing is two times strength so we'll say two times strength and change the name to two times strength button and in the local script once again just replace the id that's really all there is to making a game pass shop now other than all the design things because that obviously could take a while as you saw i redid like all of the ui basically and it now looks a lot better in my opinion um and I did have a good button for the codes as well, but for some reason Roblox decided to uh, ban my my like Twitter bird 
icon thing that everybody uses for their code icons. Um, so yeah, that that's why it's just a blank button now. Alright, so our last game pass is two times endurance. And we'll change the text to two times endurance. And then finally, the local script. Let's go over to our two times endurance. Copy. Paste. Alright, so now once we join, everything should be working. But to prove that this actually works, what I want to do is go over and start up a test server with, uh, we'll just do one local player. And this local player is actually not my account, so it won't have the game pass already owned. So this will prove that all this works, hopefully. Alright, so here we are. We are going to click the shop button. Down comes our frame. Nice little animations everywhere. Now we click on the pass. As you see, we have all of these buttons. And let's say I want the two times all stats. I click that and we get this error so what this said is we have to go to our settings game settings go to our permissions or security and we will need to do allow third party sales to true and now this should work all right so here we are loaded in now once again and if we click the shop the animation then we have our passes we want two times all stats would you like to buy two times all stats with that um, very questionable image? 2,499 Robux for this game pass. And as you see underneath, this only says this while in Roblox Studios, by the way. It says this is a test purchase. Your account will not be charged. And it obviously won't be charged right now because this is not an actual account. So let's just go ahead and click yes all right so your purchase of two times all stats succeeded all right guys well that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed the video i know it was a really short one but hey it was a necessary one so that being said guys hope you guys have a really good rest of your christmas and i will see you in the next video guys make sure to turn on post notifications like and subscribe because it really helps me out and most of you are not subscribed to my channel Anyways, guys, Merry Christmas. See you in the next one.